everybody. I'm here with Mel. Oh, you know what I forgot to ask you? What? Are you in that nor'easter that's taking place right now? We had it. It started snowing. Uh, let's see. Today is Monday. It started snowing Saturday night and it snowed all day yesterday. So it started snowing about seven o'clock Saturday night and it stopped around eight o'clock last night. So we got like 10 inches. But today it's like 34 and the sun's out. So oh, I'm well. here when we get snow like that. You know, when it's snowing, it is, you know, it's, a, it's a snow. I mean, it's, right. you don't want to be out in it, but I was. But then they get this, I mean, the plows are out immediately. So, yeah, you know, tenders really might paralyze someplace else, but for us, it's like. Do you guys have trouble with your cars with the salt? Do you guys get the oh, yeah. salt underneath? Oh, yeah. You got to like, you got, you know, after the winter, you got to take them and have them washed. Unless you have a, yeah, you can't. Yeah, it's bad. Okay. <laughs> So listen, you guys, before we start, Mel has a lot of questions on his, from his page. Thank you guys for sending in questions. I just want to give a heads up uh, to a lady who does olive oil, and she does a beautiful job. She has this beautiful olive oil salad bowls and stuff, and she does vinegars. I'll mention her again, but she's got a little YouTube. I'll put it on the bottom. Rusella, Rusello olive oil and more. R U C C E L L O olive oil and more. Um, we'll chat a lot. I ordered a bottle and I'll, I'll let you guys know. But uh, she's she's a client and she's just a really nice. And I said, you know, give me your information and I'll mention it on Mel's show. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go online or to her site and order some. There you go. Uh, oh, is she, it's I, on Amazon. You okay. order it on Amazon. Because I love to cook, as you can me, tell. And listen, so Mel work. and I are talking about maybe doing a little cooking show yeah in the kitchen with mel and linda with so mel and linda or linda and could, mel could, yeah. <laughs> i could be yelling at you while you cook and you can be yelling at me while i cook so we're just you, just fyi we're putting it out there it's where people make a mistake and i've gotten in so many discussions about this when people boil pasta you can salt the water you don't have to but they put all they put oil in there to boil the pasta i like, used to do that all the time and they say don't do that no, don't do that because what happens is then when you put, your, I call it gravy, some people call it sauce. When you put your tomato gravy then on your pasta, it doesn't stick as well. So oh, yeah. if there's no oil in there, it causes the the sauce to it, the right. gravy to adhere. You know, my sister's husband, who's now deceased, God bless um, he, uh, his family, big Italiano, I'm talking, they used to make the gravy on Christmas Eve. Oh yeah. They yeah. called it gravy. Yep, Our Dan, right the Dan that one that helps me, he's Italian too. He gave me a recipe for a good gravy. I make it. Oh. I'll send mine. I make it all day. I, it takes me all. Well, it cooks like th for three and a half hours. So. Oh my God, I bet it's delicious. And when I come oh, out to see you guys, you better make it for me. I put neck bones in there and beef bones. Oh, I'll make it for you. It's really good. Awesome. Meatballs, so, pull those in, sausage. <laughs> and um, I wanted to say hello to Carol, who runs um, the Angel Heart. She said the weirdest thing happened. She said her little granddaughter, um, she's not little, she's tall. She ended up being a tall. She, um, hold on one second. She said the funniest story. It was so cute. Um, uh, hold on. Well, maybe I, sh I shouldn't talk about it now. Anyway, I'll give you guys a story later on my show. But I just wanted to say, say hi to, uh, I just went like. It happens to me. <laughs> yeah, all the time I go like. Uh, I think it's Rena, her granddaughter. Why, am, I'm, why do I want, because I have a niece called Rena. So I wanted to make sure, but I'll find it anyway. I'll tell on my next show, I'll tell her hi, but I wanted to say hi to her. Um, she, she, her little granddaughter put the TV on, put YouTube on and put my show on. And Carol said, well, you're watching Linda G. I watch it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like seven or eight, I think. So she might be a little older because my grandson is seven. <laughs> That's fun. So anyway, okay, okay. 
So, so go ahead, my friend. Tell me what you were going to say. Well, I, you know, Lila, my... Lila, it's not Rena, it's Lila. Hi, Lila. Uh, hi, Lila. I think, is... I think I'll say hello to her on every show in the beginning. Hi, Lila. Hi, Lila. Okay. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta send her your autograph. Yeah, so she's a she's a tall girl and she's beautiful. Aww. Very pretty. Okay, give me the four one one. Here we go. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes, we got all the little stuff out of the way. We got all this. We got all the housekeeping. Oh, and FYI, uh, tomorrow, you guys, I'll come in to pick the winners for the show. I do. I pick the first of the month. I always pick winners. Go ahead. Um, okay, so I have people asking questions too. Um, so people were wanting to know when McCarthy had a meeting with Trump after it was announced that Trump was impeached. Uh, I guess they want to know if there was any wrongdoing there. <laughs> okay. In other words, did did McCarthy leak information to Trump? And you know, I'm feeling. I that. think I think he was there because Trump got all the money for the Republicans, and he wanted that money. And I think also he's talking about doing his own Trump people, and I think it was some sort of negotiation, and they need him to help. They think in 2022, they're going to be able to switch everything over. Unfortunately, I hate to break it to them, but they're not. Well, especially if Trump says he's going to start his own party, which, um, but exactly. uh, anyway, I think they're trying to play to Trump's base so they can get those votes is what I think. That's what I was thinking. But yeah. it also had something to do with money. Either he's wanting money or they're wanting their money. Something to do with money. I picked that up too. It was some kind of monetary transaction, but I mean- Clearly, McCarthy should not, not have been meeting with Trump when this whole impeachment thing's going on. Right, right. There was something that just seemed fishy about it. But McCarthy is one of the ones that went to Russia with that group of people. Exactly. That's so, the key there. That's why yep. that he has such a stronghold, is they so, have information. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that they have something on him. <laughs> yeah. What was um, the other question? Okay, so people want to know about what's going to happen with Marjor Marjorie Taylor Greene. Will she be expelled from the House? Um, and then McCarthy, Mac McCarthy meeting with her. So, uh, you know, I think in order to be expelled, you have to have, I forget, two thirds. I don't think they'll get that. But I, my guides are telling me that the pressure on her is going to just be so immense that ultimately, I don't know if she resigns, but I do not see her in the House of Representatives. I don't Fantastic know. Thing. And I felt like McCarthy did this. I don't even think, yeah, exactly. Tone down the rhetoric, he's telling her. Tone down the rhetoric. Exactly. Um, so then somebody asked, is the party kowtowing to her because of, because of her conspiracy theories and because of, I don't know if we can say this on YouTube, but because of... Um, the the fascism and the bigotry that she promotes. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. Um, but I think no, I think it's probably more a lot of the Republicans are going along with it because they need the crazies to win elections. Right, <laughs> right. Uh, like her. But you know, here's what my guide showed me. And it's that there's this tiger and it's and it's out of the cage now. And I think they all thought they could control this tiger and they're finding out that they can't and it's going to be very difficult to get it back in the cage. Meaning, right. I mean, right. obviously the metaphor of it. That's what my guide showed me. <laughs> I saw within a couple of years time, like I have a lot of clients who have relatives that are into that conspiracy thing. And I tell them not to worry because within a couple of years time, because they keep waiting for the big announcement that uh, the 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 voting was rigged and all this stuff, you know, they keep waiting and none, none of that is happening. And I feel like he's just going to keep getting smaller. Yeah. And a lot know. of this will keep getting, and people are going to start living better because Biden's going to present so many things to America. It's, well, I mean, it's going to be like you're living good. What's your complaint? She's already calling up for impeachment of Biden. <laughs> like he's been president for two weeks. It's ridiculous. Oh, she started it with within before he even got in office to impeach him. Oh, I know. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, well, and people are going to want to know if Trump wants to run again in 2022. But 
I don't see that. <laughs> Oh no, 2024, you mean? I'm sorry, 2024. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Um, I don't either. I, 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 or if he does, he doesn't win because I do not see him going back in office. Um, but I see investigations because of the way he's spending money that was supposedly donated to him for his defense fund and things like that. Where is it going? There's going to be a bunch of stuff. You know what really is something? Did you see that he didn't buy any more vaccines? Exactly. He didn't like, leave anybody, all these people dying, and he didn't have any more vaccines. He was on the golf course. <laughs> you can't tell, tell me that those 400 and some thousand people and their families don't it was remember. Horrible. It. Yeah. it was horrible. And, you know, that should be crimes against humanity. Um, right. And, you know, they thought they had all this vaccine. They turned out they had none. Yeah, they, <laughs> Biden gets in there and they're like, it's, you can hear crickets. Exactly. Nothing, there's nothing here. So they had to start from the beginning. But he is meeting his goal of getting everybody vaccinated. So oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good thing. I guess people are asking too, you know, in 2022, will the Democrats still be able to keep the Senate and the House? That's a huge question. I saw yes, but what did you see? I see, yes, they'll keep the Senate. I see them get, gaining more seats in the Senate. You know, the House has traditionally been Republican because of gerrymandering and the, and the Republicans did gain, I think, was it 15 seats? Right. But we only lead by 13 seats now. I see we advantage again. Exactly. This is what the feeling was I got. They think they got everything under control. And then 2022 comes along and all of a sudden because people's lives are getting better, all of a sudden, wait, wait a second, wait a second. They are going to lose seats because yes. you know how it's been. They Republicans gain a bunch of seats, Democrats gain. You know, we, we've been going back and forth, especially like with Obama, with Obamacare, they really laid into them. Now they think they're going to do it again with Biden and it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. Exactly. So I think we'll retain that. And then, then somebody asked, and I've answered this one before, will Biden add more judges to the Supreme Court? And the answer is yes, but I like the way he's doing it. He's forming a committee to evaluate. That was smart. So well, then, I saw I saw Thomas going first, but I could be wrong. We, yeah, we talked about that, that Thomas will be gone. I don't know if it's just he resigns or because of ill health. But and years I, ago, I told everybody that Kavanaugh was going to get in. They're going, please say he doesn't get in. Now he's, but don't worry. So it could be this committee that finds out who paid all his bills. Right, exactly. Um, let's see, uh, hold on. <laughs> I got some good ones here. Oh, um, what is in store for Florida? Will they have a deep cleaning? What's gonna happen to DeSantis, Rick Scott, Rubio and Getz? Uh, <laughs> I think that's pretty good. Um, what I'm seeing is what, with what happened in Florida, they put fake people on the ballot. Uh, they were supposed to be Democrats and they even had websites and they were supposed to be anti-Republican uh, or just liberal anyway, or whatever. But so they did that, these people weren't real. And it siphoned votes away. You know, they were real names, but they weren't, they weren't they were candidates, but not really, because they were really Republicans, and it was to siphon votes away from the Democratic candidate. And so it was legal at the time, but I see that becoming illegal right. okay. uh, in the state. So, you know, I don't see DeSantis, the governor, staying in office. Me neither. Uh, Too many and, people have died. And, you know, you know, Biden didn't lose Florida by that much. No, he didn't. You know, Marco Rubio, I don't see ever becoming president. No. All right. And Getz, uh, I don't really know about him, but uh, I do see a point in time when Florida will go uh, purple. <laughs> you don't see, you do see it. I see, a point, I see a point in time, my guide show me, where it's going to go purple. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then over and to- he didn't lose Texas by that much either. Well, that's another thing people are asking me, like what's going to happen to the governor down there in Texas? And I see him, I see him not winning at some point. Um, Do I gotta you think him. Stacey Abrams will be governor? Um, you know, isn't Beto, Beto running or something? I, I, Texas? I, I don't know if he's talked about it, but uh, Stacey and Beto have some good stuff coming up. They do. 
you know, so it would be a good team to have one as governor and one as lieutenant governor. Right. right. Uh, but I do see uh, a Stacy at some point in, in a position like that, yes. <laughs> okay. So good. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, oh, this is a good one. And you probably talked about it. I have. What happens to Josh Howley? <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. You notice we're not hearing about him much. Exactly. Because we're down the bread about right? Marjorie yeah. Taylor Green. <laughs> so what do you think is going to happen to Josh? Holly's a, uh, he's Holly. I'm sorry. Uh, he's a senator, right? Um, yeah, he's not in the house. Oh, well, I, I see censure. Okay. Um, but I see him charged with some stuff too. Really? Well, it might be inciting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how far it's going to go. Well, but... there's going to be a hearing on uh, on all this stuff. There's a lot of people who are going down. And what's interesting is the good old boys or whatever, they're kind of upset too because they thought they were all going to get, uh, you know. Hard. Hard. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. Uh, I heard this morning on the air that um, the FBI hasn't had this big of an investigation since 911. Oh, so I'm supposed to say that. With the march on the camp, well, not march with the attempted coup d'etat yeah. on the Capitol. So, you know, that's, oh boy, there's going to be so many layers opened up by them. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, you know, um, I, I don't know. I think they're going to go after Marjorie Taylor Greene for some charges like that, because when she was saying, you know, chanting uh, that these people should be killed and all that stuff i mean that's just horrible <laughs> right right um so anyway oh and she, she threatened people and she said that 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 oh, little yeah. school thing was fake and it, it's really sad it's really well, some sad. of what she said i think is you know i i'm not a lawyer but they might even try to say it's assault <laughs> yeah yeah so here's a question i really like this one what? Uh, what happened to the New Age community? Why did they fall for the conspiracy theories and Trump's lies? Well, here's my take. All right, not ever, not every New Age person did. Some did, but not everybody. Right. Right. <laughs> That's number one. Um, you know, my guides show me that it was really more like brainwashing. So they put aside their critical thinking and just kind of got hung up in the emotion of it. So they need to start their critical thinking again. Okay. Um, plus, I think they kind of like the whole idea of conspiracy theory. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you feel about it, but that's how I'm intuiting it. Yeah. The, um, I, it, you know, energetically, now some psychologists have written about this, but it's just very, I hate to say it, but there's a lot of very prejudiced people out there and they go for that get rid of them. You're on our land. Like we own this, you know, well, that's and, interesting. Now it's your land. What about my ancestors that were here first? You know, you know, that's a very good point that I think a lot of people who claim to be really enlightened had an underlying racism. That's and, all. I always picked up racism. They really like the anger with him and like, you know, nobody can come in the, all those bands and everything. It's just very sad. Yeah, you know, I'm getting the same thing now. So I think it's the biggest issue is underlying racism. So, yeah. you know, when people claim to be enlightened. You know, and it's weird because there's people that I know that I had been friends with and stuff, and they are truly into this. And you you realize, oh my God, this whole time this person was racist. Exactly. It's frightening. But, um, you know, um, I do think, though, I predict my guide show me Trump will will try to start another political party, and actually, I pray that he does because those it just feels like it filters out. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's almost where Republican has become a really just dirty word, you know. <laughs> and oh, I'm not okay. Republican. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, you know, um, what I feel is just slowly but surely, while people are doing better in this world and more information comes out about the things he's done and the things he said about his own people and money he's taken, I think slowly but surely they'll just filter him out. 
Well, energetically to talk Reiki, my guide showed me it's about us opening the solar plexus, the center of empowerment, and then using the throat chakra to speak up. Uh, but I had a, I had a meeting with Charlie Chaplin yesterday. He came. Oh, through. cool. <laughs> and he said to me that this is no different than the time of Hitler, that we were very close to um, yeah, it creating was very cool. this, this energy. So um, I agree. Um, all right. So somebody said, well, I think the energy is there. It's been there. It just came to the surface. The right. xenophobia, exactly. that's what Trump played on. Right. Uh, it's but, just you know, shocking how angry people were. It's just so shocking. You know, but, but and that's what happens when, you know, that's how cults work. You play on people's right. emotion. You get them riled up. You get, to, you get them to question everything. And then you right. start putting your own stuff that are lies in there to, to control them. So right. it's kind of like a mass mind control. Right. And it, it does, people, they all say no, but, it, but look what happened in Germany. I mean, it can happen anywhere. But, but unfortunately, but will not with win. Trump, it, it was more about making money. It wasn't, he didn't really care if he could use that to create chaos, fair enough, but it was about making money. I mean, he underfunded the government, so we didn't have any committees. We had no good, solid people. He had his <laughs> yes boys working, so if he said that, he protected Putin. He just kept doing what he, he was knew doing. that if he had committees that they would scrutinize what he was doing. That's number one. Number two, you know, my guides tell me that he doesn't have a conscience. There's no moral no. compass. So he doesn't really care about his constituents. He never did. He didn't Even care. Even like about with, uh, uh, who's the guy who was, in, uh, what's his name? The big guy, Pompeo. Right. Somebody was looking into him, what he was doing, how he was spending the government's money having these parties and stuff. Well, that's not going to come And he up. told Trump to fire him and Trump fired him. And then he said, it wasn't under me, it was Trump. And then they interviewed Trump and they and he said, no, uh, Pompeo told me to fire him because he was investigating him. Exactly. So, the, so, the, so I think the thing is, is he doesn't care about his constituents. Trump yeah. doesn't. He didn't care about anything except greasing his own pockets. But the way he could do that to retain power was to create these conspiracy theories and anarchy to make people continue to support him. Right. But, he, but it had nothing to do with them. He doesn't care about them. He doesn't care about anything. He just he didn't care about the Constitution because he went, he tried to force other states to turn the vote. He did not care constitutionally. It was so illegal. He just said, change it for me. And then he was hoping about that capital thing so he could. Exactly. You know, the sociopath, the sociopath doesn't have any guilt, love, yeah. remorse. It's all about manipulation. Oh, he control. feels bad. He feels bad it didn't work. For him, love, decency, morality is like cup. Yeah. Pen. They have no emotional. The only thing he gets is anger and becomes a bully when he doesn't get what he wants. Right. Exactly. He's still doing it. And now they're saying he should be the leader of the Republican Party. Well, a lot of Republicans behind the scenes won't go for that. And oh, I'll tell yeah. you, I see a lot of problems uh, between Mitch McConnell and Trump. Uh, I, I got a feeling that McConnell can't stand Trump, but he played along with it. McConnell did to get what McConnell wanted. And as I said, my guy showed me now the tiger's out of the cage. And they, they thought they could control the tiger, but guess what? They couldn't. Right. <laughs> oh, so. yeah. They wanted to, his constituents, all the Trumpsters wanted to hang Pence. Exactly. Their exactly. Own person. They want to get rid of Mitt Romney. Anybody that doesn't agree, I don't care. They'll, they'll ruin their own family. Exactly. So, yeah, for him, it's, you know, he does, he doesn't have a moral compass, at least Biden does. Biden's going to get a lot done. Here, well, this is a good question. Will the availability of decent, affordable housing get any easier? Oh, that's a uh, good question. Isn't that good? Uh, and my guides say yes, and they show me something like the New Deal. With the, you know, I think with Buttigieg, he's transportation, but there's going to be a lot more uh, fixing the infrastructure roads, right. bridges being repaired, things that are right, right. and housing that's affordable. I see a lot of that, a lot of really decent housing. Right. So, uh, and, you know, affordable low interest loans for people. Right, first time buyers, that kind of stuff. Exactly. You know, or the, the Republicans home. kind of removed all that. Now it's coming back. Exactly. And then it says, um, 
will there be any regulation over application fees and other random fees? And when I saw that people have to do an application fee for affordable housing, I cringed. So I'm saying that those fees, will, that they're going to say they can't do that. They can't right. right. really charge those fees. <laughs> so there's a lot. There's a lot of really great legislation coming. I mean, look at what Biden did the first day he was in office. That was right. amazing. Oh my God. And and you know, who's gonna complain about executive orders? Because the last <laughs> president who complained about by uh, Obama, Obama doing it did more than him. Exactly. And all the and by the way, our new president doesn't golf every weekend <laughs> and he actually does go to church on Sunday morning. Which, you know, I'm Catholic, not a very good one, but, uh, but I mean, in my opinion, that's what Christianity is about. Acceptance, tolerance, caring, you know, practicing what you preach. And, and Joe Biden is doing that. You he's, know, he really yeah. cares about people. I really uh, feel he's fantastic. So listen, can I ask you something? Yes. Oh, we're supposed to get a, new, um, um, what's his name? Gardner? Uh, He's supposed to be our new DOJ attorney general. Oh, oh, Merrick Garland. Yeah. Have you heard anything about when he's supposed to start or has he gone through the approval? I process? think he has to go through the approval. I don't know if it's happened yet, but I want to tell you something. He's going to be an amazing attorney. Oh, general. Yay. Uh, and he's not going to be afraid and he will not count out a pressure. Uh, and I think he's going to kind of look into some of the shady dealings that were happening with the Supreme Court as well, with the dark money flowing in there. Right, uh, right. But you know, the man's going to have his hands full with all these investigations. I'm I like, know. Oh, it's dark. I know. That's the part that's. I well, don't think. I don't think Twitter's bringing them bringing him back. Mm -mm, they won't. I think they'll have people looking at this piece, this piece, this piece under the DOJ, and there's going to come a lot's going to come out about what Bill Barr pulled. Uh, uh, you know, Bill Barr, I think, thought that when he left the DOJ, that that would kind of cleanse his hands wrong. right it's not you know what i saw uh, y'all my people here remember i saw when the new president comes in and the new doj i saw people within the organization of the department of justice yapping oh absolutely to, telling them that he made us do this he made us do that i see people saying look under there look over here you're going to find this i see everybody just spilling my guides are showing me a spaghetti strainer. So, you know, when you reverse your spaghetti, which you shouldn't really do, but some people do that water right. just coming through. That's going to be how the leaks that are going to be coming out. I Isn't mean, that something? Well, people are going to want to save their own hide too. <laughs> um, you know, here's a good one. Will what? there ever be any laws regarding the accountability of reporting? I guess somebody here said that before Reagan, they had them, but then Reagan passed legislation to, I don't know, something about accountability. But I, you know, there's free speech, but you can't lie. So I do see some legislation passed to make some- You mean some like when you say an outright, out, outright lie? Correct. Like that conspiracy stuff and- Right, exactly. Someone said, someone said, okay, here's the deal on, on that parlor thing. Here's the deal. Actually, that's not Biden and Kamala. Those are stand-ins. Biden and Kamala are in jail. Kamala are Kamala. in jail and um, uh, Donald is getting ready to, to step in and be the new president. But it's all, just, all that stuff you see is fake. They've actually taken them and put them in jail. I wonder where they get the Kool-Aid because it's my <laughs> God. I mean, it just, I have to laugh because it's so crazy, but people actually buy that. But like, probably if you could get some sort of legalities, you could cut that, you know. You that's could my point. That. But I think a lot of the companies will do it as well, because when these politicians that are favoring that kind of stuff, okay, stop getting funded from the big companies and it's the big companies. That's already happening. Yeah, the big companies. Exactly. Anybody so, that was involved in that sedition is right. getting cut off. You know, cutting off, cutting off their money speaks louder than anything. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that'll continue. Um, but I like, okay, hold on, there's one more. Oh, well, Rupert Murdoch ever, oh, we talked about that, white face repercussions. And the answer is yes. <laughs> um, that's all I have. But I, 
I appreciate everybody that wrote in these questions. Isn't that um, wonderful? So we're we're going to try to make this a regular thing, right? Yes, I yeah. love this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And also, um, how do people get a hold of you to book readings? Okay, they can uh, call my office, 847-590-5411. Uh, and, you know, my YouTube channel, Meldor Psychic, they can ask me you on can there. go on there. Okay. okay. Uh, or they can email me, mel at meldor.com. Okay. <laughs> but, oh, but Wes, I just got to throw something out to you. Are they going to be able to get rid of the joy? Um, yes. Yes, hey, absolutely. There's so much going on. I had to think back. That's the post That's office. the U.S. post office. Uh, absolutely. And they're going to, you know what I had said back then, and you had said it too, wow. my guy showed me that they're going to be investigating him slowing down the mail and doing this and that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, cause the court said he couldn't do that. And I think and they're going to did it anyway. And he was in contempt of court. Well, you know, it's, a, it's, it's against federal law to attempt to tamper with an election. So, so there, there you go. So I think the DOJ is going to show that Trump had been trying to tamper with these election, this election all along, which we all know. Yes, of course. But it's one thing to know it; it's another thing to prove it. So I think they might strike a deal with the Joy, like you work with us, and we're going to charge it with this much. If you don't, we're charging with all of this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, what about Corey Lebowski or Lombowski or whatever his name is? He's he's up there with the in the Pentagon right now. Oh, he'll, oh, that, that's a guy Trump put in. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he's going to be gone. Because I worry about him being able to get secrets. Well, he's a civilian. He could be fired. But if he, but here's what I'm thinking. I yeah. think as we speak, and even before today, I'm sure that the Biden administration knew about a lot of this. And I'm sure that they put things in place now to safeguard some of those secrets. That's what I was feeling too. And I feel like the big wigs that are the secret holders, as soon as they could, when they start letting Biden know, listen, we're dealing with this, we're dealing with this. And I think a lot of, like I told you, people will be squealing. I even see Republicans, because remember Biden said, I'm getting a lot of calls from the Republicans who can't speak out against Trump, but wanted me to know that they're right. in favor. So oh. I just see people just spilling. The once uh, the Donald starts losing his um, impetus. Yeah, it, I just see people saying, "Oh my God, we were so close as a nation to being in a horrible position." Yeah, I mean, it was pretty precarious, and we almost went over the edge. And there's we, more of us than there are of him. True. And we're, but we're not out of the woods yet. Not so yet, yet. we all have to be diligent. And listen, uh, I understand what Biden's doing because he doesn't want to hit Trump hard right now because he wants Merrick Garland to get in there, but also because he doesn't need the people who are Trumpsters to get even more wild. Well, you know, I heard, was it Marco Rubio who said um, something about, you know, impeaching Trump is like putting gas on the fire, whatever he said, fanning the flames. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's something wrong with that because I'll tell you why. Because it's almost like saying, well, why would, why would holding the arsonist responsible make the flame bigger? Putting, you know, my thing is take care of the arsonist so the arsonist can't start more fires. Exactly. <laughs> And look at, they were willing to, to slew Hillary. They had, and they wanted, they wanted to Obama impeach. They tried everything they could, but boy, you're going to touch their guy who's done more criminal activity than anyone. Oh, well, you can't do that. You're just going to feel the fines. The same things, conspiracy theories that there's certain words we can't mention on here, but that uh, they said about Hillary and Obama. They're yeah. saying the same things now about Biden's son. It's terrible. And it's, it's absolutely, they're absolutely lies. It just plays on, you know, I, here's what my guide show me that we'll get back to using our common sense again, there because a lot of this is common sense, you know, right. and they also, also, as angry as we are, we kind of have to stand down from that. We, I'm not saying he goes unpunished. I'm just saying we have to energetically be able to move forward. And if we're holding on to too much luggage, it'll deter us instead of helping us go forward. Well, I think 
I think you're right. You're right. And I think that, you know, we have to have a little anger to push us forward, but not necessarily negativity. <laughs> you know, I think, um, you know, it's the age of truth. And there, unfortunately, the counter of that is the age of lies, but there's going to be so, so much coming out. I love it. And so it'll Here be Here we like, go. Fasten your seatbelts, everybody. Fasten your seatbelts, because this is going to take off like a rocket once it hits. I so. can't wait. I can't wait. I can't uh, wait. Me either, actually. So Mel, thank you. And I'll see you again next week. All right. Thank you. Oh, everybody, by the way, be very careful with your debit cards <laughs> because mine got hacked and over almost $5,000 was taken out of my bank account. But right. I'm and fighting. he's going to change banks. I have U.S. Bank and somebody in some weird Missouri or, or something called the Bearded Lady tried to do a 500 charge. U.S. Bank, not only did they flag it, they closed, they closed my card temporarily and contacted me and said, did you make this per, I said, God, no. And they said, okay. And then they went down the list of other, what, cause I think there was one other purchase and I did do that. And they said, I said, if it involves food, yes, it's normally mine. And they said, um, uh, okay, well, because of this, now we've got to cancel this card. Do you know they overnighted my new card for me? Mine, they say, you'll have it in six days. <laughs> they overnighted, I got it special. I'm telling you, and U.S. Bank, I always get, every time I make a charge, it shows up on here. Like, you just paid so-and-so so much money. Yeah, see, mine didn't do that. If it would have, I would have. But what happened was I tried to, like, buy a book or something, and it was declined, and I went on. I had, like, they left $2.87 in my bank account which I can laugh now, but it's just a nightmare because all of my automatic drafts, I'm going to go through all of that. But, you know, so everybody out there, it's better to, you know, the best thing to do is get a prepaid Visa card or almost a, a credit card with a well, thousand. Well, they say, cards. again, and U.S. Bank has told me this, and I have many different cards and I'm going to start doing that. Use your a, a Visa or something that may be a thousand, two thousand. Do not use your debit card do not just use a visa that you pay off at the end of the month that you make charges so if it gets compromised you don't have to worry about it. exactly and you know here we are but you know and i'm very careful like i get the scam phone calls and i mess with them you know me I give too, all the time and they keep sending your bank account blah 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 but they're sending it to an email that has nothing to do with my bank so no, they call me and they say you know we want to consolidate your credit cards is this you whatever however they have my name i don't know and i always say no my name badim no speak english good <laughs> i come up with different accents do they come back do they call you again then they hang up and i get another call and i go and then i go and with whom am i speaking <laughs> <laughs> I no, I was. I got that. I bought that Robo, some yeah, I that. Robo, I and they filter. And I noticed the calls have gotten less and less. It's, it's amazing, but you know, I. But every now and then, I like to do my little accents. Like, no, <laughs> my my name is Wolfgang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are calling Germany. You are not calling America. I think <laughs> I have the wrong number. <laughs> I've know? done FBI agent Linda. Boom, they're gone. <laughs> yeah. All right, my friend. You take care. And stay warm. All right, everybody keep your debit card to yourself. Use your yeah, card. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did you know the best, the US Bank gave me the best advice. Use a separate visa or something that even if it gets hit, it's not going to demolish you. Yeah, I'm going to be, you, you You should be a salesperson for US Bank because- I tell you, I love them. They are fantastic. I'm getting my business. All right, my dear. <laughs> okay, no, talk soon. Ciao.